Wilson, it's Thursday, October 29th, and it's an A-Day. Oh my gosh, there's only two more days till Halloween. It's such a fun time of year, so make sure to wear your costumes, whether you're virtual or hybrid tomorrow, to celebrate Halloween with the rest of your school. Time for the organizational tip of the day. People have told you to clean your room, clean the bathroom, but never to clean your drive or your files online. Ooh, I rhymed. But it is extremely important because this makes it 10 times easier to find different files, find different documents, and don't lie to me and not tell me that you have at least a thousand untitled documents. Well, I obviously don't have thousands of untitled documents. I can find my documents so easily, so easily. Okay, time to do some homework. Wait a minute. This homework assignment is due at six? Wait, 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 where's the document? Document. Oh, I forgot to title the document again. <sighs> yes, this is it. No, that's not it. No, 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 no! Okay, maybe I'm not that good at it, but I did get better recently by searching up some tips, which I'll be sharing with you guys. And this is extremely important, especially during this COVID-19 period, because half of our stuff is online. We barely get any paper documents anymore. So this is why it's important to understand how to organize your drive, especially during a time like this. Here are some tips and tricks for organizing your drive. Number one, color coordinate your folders. For some reason, my brain always seems to remember colors or images or visuals better than actual names. This will help me organize my drive better and also find items quicker. We have left a lot of untitled documents in the past and there's nothing you can do about it. But from here on onwards, you need to make sure that you never ever leave a document without titling it. And if it's a not a good document or completely useless, delete it so you don't have to worry about it clogging up your drive. And number three, don't have one big folder for everything. Make sure to have subfolders for different marking periods, subjects, whatever way works the best for you. And that's your organizational tip of the day. A quick reminder that boys basketball medical forms are due no later than October 30th. Now it's time for the hack of the day. Aren't you tired and bored of using the same old one colored highlighters? Well, there's an easy hack to fix that. All you'll need is two highlighters. Take the darker highlighter and color one half of the lighter one. Remember to only color the tip of the highlighter. If you don't like the highlighter two-toned, then you can always make it go back to its original color after a few uses. So just make sure to do it as your prefer after your as your preference. Oh my gosh, I'm so bored. I can't even draw, paint, or do anything because I don't have any art supplies at home. Well, who says you need art supplies to make art? What do you mean we don't need art supplies? I mean, don't you technically need them? Try the nature art challenge. Introducing the nature art challenge. Are you bored or looking for something to do during quarantine, but have a lack of art supplies or even the proper materials? You're seeking inspiration or you want to be a little more creative than usual. Well, the nature art challenge is perfect for you. Art is all around us. We don't need to go to the store and buy new art supplies, but instead we can use simple materials like leaves, sticks, twigs, flowers, etc. to put together marvelous pieces of art. Here are some example pictures, and yours obviously doesn't have to look like this, but these are just some examples of where people arranged these different parts of nature to create beautiful designs. And that is the Nature Art Challenge. All of the Nature Art submissions must go on the Morning Announcement Submission for a link which will be shown later on in the video. This one's a classic, carving pumpkins. All you need is a basic decorating set and a pumpkin. You can make something scary, something nice looking, whatever you want. And make sure to snap some selfies of you with your pumpkin. This one's kind of obvious, but just to let you know that although I'm not promoting healthy habits, it's incredibly important to treat yourself during Halloween. So make sure to feast on some candy. And I'm just getting so hungry by looking at this set of images. But yes, this Halloween, make sure to indulge in the sweet and gooey taste of Halloween chocolate and candy. Watch some classic Halloween movies or some new releases to really get into the Halloween spirit. And those are your three things you should do this Halloween.